It was a big task because we'd been there 37 years. The last day I had a lady come to clean the place out and uh, there was no furniture so you had to sit on the floor. <laughs> You don't really think much about chairs and sitting on chairs until you haven't got any. <laughs> the painting was uh, on the wall as we went in the door. We said, oh, that's where we got married. That was where we spent our honeymoon. After the war, we, uh, we met on a blind date. A friend of mine uh, had arranged uh, an evening at the Majestic Cabaret. So I don't think he told me who, who the spare lady was. So I guess there was a certain amount of surprise when we, uh, when we met. <laughs> contact with it really was through the tennis club, the same tennis club we joined in, Bill Burning. But she had had that background of living in the same area and being at the same school. You know, we had a lot to talk about. It's not as if we were strangers. We had a great night. So that's uh, where it all started. And the only fly in the ointment was that uh, she had a boyfriend coming down to pop a question. and. Uh, I said, well, I want to marry you. You can't marry both of us. So you have to make up your mind. So uh, the answer was affirmative. When I was nine years old, we used to come home for lunch in the, in the tram and uh, she sat inside and I was too shy to sit inside. So I sat in the, the middle compartment and then we used to get back <laughs> come back on the same day. We have never exchanged a word, really. <laughs> yes, she didn't drive. She never learned to drive, I suppose, mainly because we had one car and I needed that for business. So she missed out on, but she didn't mind that. Mm, yes, oh, some great pictures there. Right like from sea to, to uh,
Well, she played um, she played tennis for quite a long time, and then she took up bowls. She was a very easy going person. And it was a good life. We used to go to Wester Bay. That was the, the more popular beach. You take a bottle of uh, can of beer around, and you'd have a soft drink, and uh, yeah, we'd spend hours there and swimming in and out, and uh, yeah, it was a lovely little spot to uh, to swim. <laughs> So we used to go, go there, but it wasn't until later on we uh, went to Star Bay, which is between those two bays, just a little secluded beach, which was great, you know, you stay there a lot. I had six months on my own at home. Actually, we had our name down here on the waiting list for a year, and they wrote us a letter, sent us flowers, and welcoming us to the village. And uh, the day we received the flowers, she died. <laughs> We're a great year. I mean, looking at, you know, married for 63 and a half years, we were, we were, we were lucky, we were blessed in that stuff. My life with her has been the greatest thing happened to me. We've got four kids and uh, Julie, she says she thinks her mum still thinks of her every day. She said, mum really loved you, dad, you know. Because you made my winter swell softly on the nose and gave me rosy apple cheeks if the north wind came on over on a sunny afternoon well you know what have to tell her that I was waiting there for you Oh, <laughs> 